I'm 15. And as a typical 15-year-old, there are many things that I hate. Among those are olives, homework, saggers, you know, those people that pull their pants really low down so you can see their underwear, and it kind of looks like their ass is sagging. <laughs> Wet clothes, when I'm just sitting in my room, minding my own business, and my parents apparently want me to help around the house. But most importantly, the frequent bombardment of the question, what do you want to do with your life? Why is it that each time I meet a new person, that's the first thing they ask me? Why is it that half my conversations, probably even more at family events, are just that? Of course, most of the time, my answer is an uncertain, I don't know, I don't have a clue, how should I know, and please talk about something else. <laughs> Every new meeting, every family event and every parent-teacher conference. From the very start of our educational journey until its very end, there's this insistent pressure to be what society's predefined role is for ourselves. We are pushed to secure a job with the underlying message being that it's all about reaching that end point, our future careers. There's a prevailing consensus that if we are not actively preparing for the future, we are wasting our time. Going to sleep late, wasting my time. Doing a hobby not necessarily for the future, wasting my time. Going on the internet, definitely wasting my time. <laughs> and just taking a break, wasting my time. However, I find this notion misplaced. Do you remember your very first job? Just take a moment, close your eyes really quickly, and just think about your very first job and your very first role. Was that what your future was meant to be? Is that what you were working towards? Is that really what you wanted? And yet, you ask us, expecting we will have an answer. When we eventually step into adulthood, which, contrary to popular belief, we will, it's not the end. It's simply another page among many. The belief that you should be entirely dedicated to foreseeing and preparing for that future seems like a means to an end when what really prepares us is life. Instead of relishing in those formative years, living in the moment and just being present throughout the various twists and turns on our journey, we end up fixated on what's next, mistaking it for an epilogue, when again, it's merely the opening of a new chapter. Imagine your life's path as a river, interlinked with numerous others, all presumably flowing towards a common destination, the lake. The belief is that reaching this lake signifies a culmination, an ultimate destination. However, what often goes unnoticed is that this lake, in turn, connects with many other rivers and even grander lakes, which all inevitably flow into the vastness of the ocean. If we are a small drop in those waters, we could go anywhere with just the slightest change in the tide or a gust of wind. You don't have to have everything figured out. You've likely also encountered the saying, it's about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> Frankly, we've all found it annoying. And I found it incredibly pretentious isn't the only reason we even embarked on the journey in the first place to reach that destination. Why keep on telling me that it's not about the destination when that is everything you've put in my head throughout my whole life? But again, I have come to realize that that saying is onto something. It's about living life, which we have only one of. Why insistently fixate on what lies ahead when there is a joy to be found in the present. 
that is a lesson that I myself haven't quite got the hang of yet, but it is something that resonates with me. What I do with my life on my own time is my business. How would it sound if I, a clueless youth, constantly asked my parents what the next career steps were? <laughs> and would my teacher be amused if I uh, questioned him about his retirement plans? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't linger in anticipation of the future. It has a way of sneaking up on you. And before you know it, that future that you so meticulously planned for has become the past. So teachers, parents, you're supposed to be knowledgeable people. And on a less serious note, we don't know what the hell we're doing. And lastly, my message is just to go off the road, sail in another river, whatever metaphor you find fits you and live life on your own time. Thank you.